Joined today on McLean's TV by Glen Torn boss Alan Kernahan. Alan, you haven't been taking it easy during the summer break. You've had loads and loads of signings and your number one headline signing, Nacho Novo. How did that happen? Uh, well, Nacho came out of the blue. Um, just uh, my chairman came to me and said, we've got a chance of signing Nacho Novo if you're interested. Uh, have a think about it. So I went away and phoned a few people and, uh, and obviously knew Nacho before, but... Um, sort of spoke to physios at Rangers in terms of his injury record and things like that and everything came back very good so uh, it was a no-brainer really and, uh, and he's come in and settled quite quickly uh, obviously he needs to work a little bit on his fitness but otherwise has been very good and very funny around the dressing room uh, and the boys have had good fun with him so uh, it's always been looking good been interesting to interview him there. He's been very honest uh, in the interview, the fact that he admits freely that he needs to get his fitness levels up, but he maintains he's a type of player it won't take too long for him to get right up to a fitness peak. Well, I hope that's, that's right. Um, we have to really trust what we see. Um, and as the weeks go on, we can get more and more minutes out of him uh, until hopefully he's up to a point where he can, he can then start games. Um, we saw little flashes of him on on Saturday, which were, which were very good. So, uh, as I say, all's been going well that way, and and the other new guys that we've brought in have all settled very quickly, which has been good. Uh, we've changed the way we play, so so there's there's been a lot of changes uh, that have happened, um, but all for the positive, I believe. You came in midstream, let's say, last season. This is the first time that really you've had an opportunity to put your stamp on the team, on the personnel in the team and the way you want to play. You must be looking forward to this season. It's been exciting. It's been, we've had a good pre-season. Um, the guys that we went after, we pretty much were able to get. Uh, I think we were only disappointed maybe once or twice. Um, so that was good. That was a positive thing for us. As I said, everybody came in and settled in quickly. Uh, and we've changed the way we play, and and everything's had a real probably natural would be the the sort of icing on the cake really coming in, because that's really ignited everybody else's sort of uh, joy for the for the new season coming up. Um, I think it's had a real buzz to the Oval. As a matter of fact, it's had a real buzz to the whole of the Irish League. The fact that they have uh, such a player like that in the ranks, able to go and watch him. Well, I, I think if, you, if if I look at the bigger picture, I see, you know, Northern Ireland doing great in the summer. It's really given everybody a big a big lift. Uh, other clubs have made sort of international signings. We've managed to to get a real marquee signing in for us. So um, everything's looking really positive. And, and everybody's got a smile on their face and have, have got that, that enthusiasm really back for the game. And, uh, and as you say, it's ignited our, our support. And uh, we had you know, a, a good crowd on, on Saturday. Um, I think we sold out for the Cliftonville game. So, um, you know, it's all looking good. A wee bit of pressure on me now. Well, the pressure will always be on you as a manager of the Glen Torn, uh, <coughs> of the, of, uh, Glen Torn Football Club. Last season... Uh, you looked at your personnel, you looked at the shape of your team, they looked the way you played, and you clearly had your mind made up for several of those signings. You must be delighted. It was an interesting thing you said that you got nearly most of all you wanted, which isn't bad for a manager. Yeah, no, very good. Um, I was fortunate in a way that I had quite a few coming out of contract, so that made that transition a little bit easier. Uh, the board have still done very good in terms of coming up with some extra money. Uh, when it was needed. Um, I wasn't really able to do an awful lot at Christmas, um, but then that sort of gave us the, th the thinking of, right, okay, well, the summer needs to be a big change. And, um, and we've done that, and I believe that we now have a better overall balance to our squad and team, and, uh, and we've got different options. Uh, you know, when Nacho's f fully fit, there's, a, there's an option there. Um, to start him in a number of different positions. Um, Stephen O'Flynn has brought a bit more of a physical presence to us in attack. Um, Eric Foley is, is, is a, a player who really can, can win a game with his passing, uh, can open up defences and with his vision. And, uh, and then Harmon and Smith 
and Redmond are all good Irish league players. And uh, uh, we've got Curtis, who's just come back from suspension. We've got Chris Lavery to come back from suspension. So there's great options there for me in, a, in an attacking sense. And uh, and really looking forward and, and, and hoping that we can produce what, what I feel that we uh, we have in, in reserve. Fans gauge success by trophies. But do managers gauge success by trophies or do you see this another opportunity in a longer term plan for Glen Torn to develop a team that is going to challenge for trophies? Yes, I think for, for me to think that I can go and uh, topple a 30 point difference between ourselves and Crusaders uh, last season I think is a little bit uh, a little bit too far for us to bridge. I think if we can get that down to single single figures, we'll have had a magnificent season uh, to the league leaders. A trophy along the way would would be nice, would be nice. But I think you know that consistency over a season um, to be a winner in the league is is the ultimate, really. And I think uh, that's maybe two or three years off, but we're certainly gunning for it. Uh, and the closer we can get, the better. As I say, if we could win a cup along the way, then that would be great. Dare I say, I've noticed a bit of a change from the last time I interviewed you. You were a wee bit, maybe almost hesitant. But, you know, I can see in your face and your eyes, you're really, really looking forward to this season. You think you're really going on the right track here with Glen Torn? I think we're going in a more positive track, you know. Um, I am enthused about it, very much so. You know, I think my, my only annoyance about last season was my lack of knowledge of the league. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with that, obviously, mm -hmm. after seven or eight months. Uh, my staff have been really good behind me uh, in terms of uh, people I should be looking at and and the way we play, as I say, has changed. So uh, it just makes me feel a, a way more positive than it did last season. You know, uh, I think we have goals. I think we'll uh, defend better. Um, so... It's a total mind, mind change and feeling change towards the team. Whenever you look at it, you know, you have Paddy McCord in Glenavon, you've got Linfield getting in um, the likes of Sammy Klingon, you know, and Roy Carr and now Nacho Novo. It, it has added a wee bit of a buzz before the Irish League, even almost before a ball is kicked in anger, that people can go and see some of these better known players, let's say, who have been at the, at the highest level mm. to come and play in the Irish League. And I, th I think they've all got something to offer as well. I think... There's nobody who's over the hill uh, by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Nacho at 37 uh, still has, I would imagine, two or three years left in his legs. So nobody's over the hill, you know, and are coming for a payday, um, which is which is nice to see as a supporter, I think, uh, that you're actually going to see something from them. Uh, maybe not as many of the highlights as they've had previously, but um, certainly some. Uh, so yeah, it is. It is a feel good factor. Um, as a, I think we've got the best signing of the lot in terms of you know can can bring goals, which is what the fans want to see. It's going to be crazy that he gets his first goal of the old, isn't it? Really, the fans are going to love that. Well, here's hoping it comes quickly. <laughs> but you're really obviously looking forward to your season. And what will be a good season? Now, you talked about the fact that you were thirty points or so behind the crews last year. You'd love to be single figures. Will that be the the sign of a, of a very successful season? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know the league and that consistency you need right the way through uh, is what managers look for. You know, I think uh, not belittling any cups at all, but it can be four or five games that you need to win to to win a cup, uh, which would be a great achievement for us. Believe me, uh, but to have that real consistency right the way through nine months. Would be uh, would be a real a real bonus and a real sort of achievement for for a manager. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. I have a feeling you'll be back in that chair more often this season than last season. To tell you the truth, I wish you all the best. Thank you Thanks very much. Thank Thanks, you. Tom.